Oh, hero. Hero. Can you hear me? Am I getting through? <laughs> I wonder if you can recognize my voice after all this time. It's been what? Ten years? Ten long, long years. <laughs> oh, it looks like you do recognize it. Look at that. Your hand went straight to your hip, even though you don't have a sore sheath there anymore. Silly, silly hero. I remember when you slept with your blade in your hand. Have the years really made you so careless and lax? Don't bother looking around for me. I'm not really here. Well, not physically, anyway. Don't you remember this trick? Back when I tried to turn you and your companions against each other? Yes, you can't forget the Demon King, can you? We're bound together, you and I. We were always destined for each other, to share our fates. I think you never realized that. How much you needed me. When you were identified as the chosen hero, you came right for me ready to carry out the task you were assigned, without even considering what would happen to you without me. <laughs> I always understood, though. I never tried to destroy you, though I let you think that's what I wanted for a long time. Mostly, I wanted to get rid of your ridiculous little band of misfits. I didn't need any of them. But you know that, don't you? You remember what happened when you finally entered my throne room. I offered you everything. Riches, fame, comfort, safety. I even offered you my hand in marriage. <sighs> that one I couldn't help but take personally. Turning down the rest was disappointing. <sighs> but turning me down as a spouse? Me? who could send nations to war with half a smile. <laughs> that was just insulting. Confused? <sighs> I'm sure you thought you killed me. How naive. As if the Demon King could be destroyed with a mere sword, regardless of his enchantments. No, I was simply weakened. It was infuriating. Drifting around as a disembodied consciousness. But I wasn't too worried, because I knew that when I fell, you'd fall with me. Oh, you don't think so? Look at you. <laughs> you practically live in a shack. You have to grow your own food. You're barely getting by. Don't lie to me, hero. I've been watching you. I saw everything. When you and your friends returned, I'm sure everything must have seemed so wonderful. The whole world was sharing your names. But you can't ride the rest of your life off a single victory, no matter how glorious. Your little friends understood that. They thought about what was next. They used their fame to start new careers as mercenaries or soldiers. I believe one of them actually became a politician. I rather like that one, I must confess. But you, the hero, no, you couldn't use your fame to open doors. It was selfish, you thought. You told the king you were at his disposal to send wherever you were needed. Ah, oh, you poor clueless hero. With everyone shouting your accolades, I don't think you could imagine a world where you weren't needed. But it's the very world you created. With me gone, there was nothing that required your might. Sure, the king sent you on missions for a while, but you were just too much. None of the conflicts you were sent to resolve really needed you. There was nobody strong enough to warrant your involvement. 
And besides, your skills weren't really all that useful there. Most conflicts in the world are won by a single, overwhelmingly powerful person. One person can be planned around and avoided. A larger, more versatile force is usually what's needed. Unless you're facing someone like moi. <laughs> and so you became a relic. Something to hang over the fireplace and admire, but never use. You were master of ceremonies for a while, right? A celebrity to make appearances and get the crowd excited. And then, finally, you weren't even that. Common folk are fickle. And the longer you went without doing anything, the less excited they were to see you. And so, here you are. The king promised a generous allowance for your service. But he didn't really have much reason to honor that once people stopped caring about you. Just look at you. The hero. The one who saved all mankind. Penniless and living in squalor. You see? Without me, you're nothing. But I didn't reach through the veil of death just to gloat. You may not believe me, but it brings me no pleasure to see you like this. To see the only mortal worthy of my respect, the only one I ever saw as an equal, disregarded by those beneath him, it brings me only rage. I'm here because I want revenge. Not on you. Don't worry. Even in this state you're in, I don't relish a fight with you. No, I want revenge on the vile fools that set you against me in the first place. Who convinced you that I was the enemy? You may think that I am, but I don't have to be. Did you ever wonder if you were on the wrong side? You still think along such simple lines. You want to talk about atrocities? Your kind have committed as many as us. <laughs> ha! Of course we came to conquer the world. It's the nature of a successful kingdom to grow larger. I conquered and united the entire underworld. Leaving the mortal world is the only place to expand. Do you think your kingdom hasn't done the exact same thing? Do you think that the very land you stand on right now never belonged to another nation? Another people? What do you suppose they think of your king? It's our nature to conquer. Both mortals and demons can only survive by consuming other living things. Our existence is chaos and destruction. Say what you will about me and my infernal empire. There's one thing you can't deny. It's united. You mortals may have banded together to stop me, but you all went right back to squabbling the second I was gone. Under my rule, that would never happen. There would be no infighting or unfair treatment of each other. Think about that. I want to extend you the same RF idea when you faced me. Join me, and I'll give to you everything, even half the world, if you want it. Do you want to know why I made that offer? We, the demons, were the first ones to call you hero in our prophecies. The mortals stole that term, made you out to be their hero. But we believe that you could save whoever you chose. You could be our hero. My hero. We could conquer the entire world and united under one rule, together. You <laughs> know, that's a shame. Although you took much longer to decide than the last time, I think 
just trying to see things my way. Oh, well. I was hoping we could do it the easy way, but... <laughs> Fool. Did you think I was powerless? Do you think I was only a voice? I've been reborn. What do you think of my new body? It's not too different from the old one, but I made a few tasteful alterations. I'm taking you back with me. There's not a thing you can do to stop me. Oh, don't bother struggling. Those are cursed chains. You would have had trouble with those in your prime, <laughs> let alone now. <laughs> oh, always so valiant and headstrong. Why don't you try actually thinking ahead for once? What would you do if you escaped? You can't fight me in your condition. You're out of practice. You don't have any of your enchanted gear. Meanwhile, I'm more powerful than ever. I'm afraid that I'm through giving you choices. You're gonna do whatever I want now. I'll finish what the mortal started and break you so I can mold you into the perfect servant. Maybe even a partner and a spouse. If you're very good to me, don't worry, I won't do too much to alter your mind. You may be a bit of a simpleton, but something about your direct approach that led you to victory. But from now on, you'll be putting that brute force method of yours to work for me. Ah, oh, those eyes, some things never change. Those are the same eyes I saw when you faced me. You can still resent me. Perhaps even more now than you did back then. Don't worry. In time you'll understand my point of view. Come along now, dear hero. We have quite a lot of work ahead of us.